basically a brand new car under this old bed. Whole nine yards, man. It's gonna be a blast to drive. Yeah, boys. What you got? I got a plan for the bed here. Two requests, Mike. One of the blue, and they had to have side pipes. So they don't want the skin on their legs. Got it. Okay. The side pipes on this car are the big challenge. We get the pipes on there, we'll see if we can get them tucked under. They're cool looking, but we don't want Rob's wife to burn her leg on They get boiling hot. Custom frame. So uh, what are we doing for a drivetrain? Yes, yeah, so we got a uh, rush shop frame order. It's coming. We're going to do an LS3. Trim it six feet. Wow. One of the other challenges with Corvette is the body, and they're made of fiberglass. This guy loves fiberglass. So. And Brandon loves fiberglass, yeah. yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Just lifting it off the frame can fracture it. They crumble easy, they deteriorate, and it's just a big pain in the ass. It could create a huge problem for us. Anyway, okay. down that road. There you go, boys. Let's get cracking. Get on. on it. I just want to show you guys. Um, I mean, pretty clean car, but um, here's the thing. She wants white interior. Oh, man, really? <laughs> Put on our surgical gloves. Yeah. <laughs> this whole white interior in the uh, Corvette is going to be pretty scary. All white. Uh, white. White top, too. White top, too, yeah. And every little handprint and fingerprint, I mean, if you forget and you touch something over here and you go grab something, it's, it shows everywhere. We're going to keep everything wrapped up and make sure this thing stays clean until the day it rolls out the door. Well, Mama wants Mama gets. Right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, let's get all this archaic stuff out and yeah. get all the nice modern stuff out. Alright, let's, let's gut it, boys. We're <laughs> rocking and rolling on this tear down. Man. It's going good. We're going to be stripping everything. I mean, it's it's going to be completely gutted. It'll be bare bones when, when I'm done with it. Complete color change going from black to white. Pretty white leather. That's it. Ah. So, uh, we're just stripping everything off the firewall, <laughs> all the wiring and leakages out so we can uh, pull the body off and just roll it out up underneath it. Come on, honey. Pull this off. Oh, yeah, that we're gonna take this whole dash apart just to get this top hat out. A lot of screws. We're upgrading pretty much everything underneath this car to make it handle like a new Corvette. Check these things out. This thing's gonna really rip. It's gonna be night and day between what it is now and what it's gonna be. So, uh, you guys gonna have a lot of fun trying to keep it on the ground. Here we go. All right, let's raise it up. That's good. This is gonna be fun getting off. Yeah. <laughs> How are we going to get that off of there? When we got this Corvette on the lift, uh, kind of noticed that it's going to be a little bit more difficult than we expected. This kind of car right here causes work burnout. <laughs> are you burned out, or you said you're going to do a burnout? I'm a, well, I'll burn, I'm burned out, but I'm not burned out on work. I was going to do a work burnout right out the damn driveway. You going to let off some steam with your tires? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. We obviously don't want anybody getting burned out at work. We want everybody to have a nice, smooth day. But it gets stressful. So at times... I guess we do get a little burnout. <laughs> Come on, launch, you can. <laughs> do not try this at home. got 68 Corvette. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff to it. You know, we're putting a modern frame under it, a big motor in it, put some nice wheels on it, and some side pipes, and change up the interior on it. It's going to have lots of horsepower. This thing's going to be a badass ride. I'm getting ready to get the antifreeze right now, and then uh, get some gas in it. We got to get out. Yeah, crap. Here we go. Crap. I think we're missing the bucket. Let's see if we can move it. All right. 
I'm never confident about these plastic cars. I've got a feeling the car's going to try to break in half. But, you know, all we can do is try and see what happens. We can just lift it. Mm. 750 pounds. Let's put four people <laughs> on each side of the plane. Hey, check this out. What if we welded a... Some of that square tube. Square tube. Two inch tube. And then hung a little piece of angle. To catch exactly what we need to do. We pick it straight up at that tube and do the work for us. We're going to build us a little fixture, a little jig that we can hook up to the bottom of the body and try to grab a hold of it with the lid. And use it to lift it off. There's one piece. Oh, hell yeah, there you go. Massey 10 can, he's on it. Look at Ken. You can tell, look here, you can tell Ken's a fabricator. I just need him to notch it. Go ahead and bump it, DJ. Come on up. Here we go. Here's the deal, man. It's either gonna lift it or it's gonna rip the side off of it. It's now the moment of truth. Or the moment of teaching, whatever you want to call it. Now's the time to try to get this body off. And it's not gonna be easy. Come on up. Coming up up there. Just pick it up. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking it's rock loose. I heard a pop in here, Joe. Oh, when we get ourselves in too, boys. This car's gonna break in half. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it just popped loose. Yeah, we made our first attempt at lifting the body off the frame on this vent. Oh, when we get ourselves in too, boys. We pick up the big old pop, just like I said, just what I thought was gonna happen. Like we're picking up a damn pancake, something that's broken. Look at that top. It done popped it loose, dog. What? We we'll got to regroup. Sure, got some way to get this thing braced up or don't break apart. What you thinking, Cap on dog? So let's brace it. Let's brace it, brace it, brace it. Let me go get Sparky. So we're gonna brace everything up, get it tied up really stout, make sure we don't fracture the body as we do the body work, and get it back on the new frame without fractures. Tell her you're having fun. Did I always have fun, DJ? Don't you know that? They call me Mr. Fun. You ready? Yep. Yeah, now, now we've got it braced up. I think we're in good shape. Uh, I'm still a little bit leery about the front end on this thing because it's just hanging out there by itself. So uh, we're going to pick it up and see what happens. Come on, ready? Slowly. Come on up. Oh, it's coming now, dog. That looks better. Come on up, man. I think it's all right. Man, we're there, man. Come on up, man. That's good. We'll come down. All right, Mike. Yeah, now that we got this thing up in the air, I feel much better. It was worth the time and effort we did to brace everything. We can roll the new frame underneath and start test fitting the body. All right, let's roll it out, boys. in the shop and uh we're gonna lay out some ss stripes on here for them and once we get everything laid out we're gonna do some ghost flames inside and we'll put the booth clear put it back on kind of wake us little nova up a little bit i think perfect you perfect one yeah i think so Got the body off the frame of the 68 bit. I asked Shaggy to see if they can find a buyer for the old 68 chassis since we've got a brand new one to replace it with. Call my buddy Sean Jones, uh, aka Johnny Corvette. He told us about this dude Danny who lives beyond the rock. Beyond the rock. The, the, the enchanted, enchanted rock. So we've loaded up the chassis. And we hope we find it. If we can sell it, great. If he knows somebody we can sell it to, even better. You know you're going somewhere far when the address you're given is coordinates. Yeah, we're off the grid. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you? I'm Danny. Hi, Danny. Amanda, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Shaq. Shaq, how's it going? I'm Danny Reed. I'm originally from Austin, Texas, and I fell in love with Corvettes when I got out of the Army in 1962. So we've heard you're the guy that knows all about... Corvettes. I know a little bit about them. I just like the power. 
and they're cool cars, and I don't know. That's that's just been my love. Hey, here's what here's what I know. We know we need to sell this. Yeah. So either you're interested, or hopefully you know someone that may be interested. I kind of have some projects going, but I'm always interested in looking at new stuff. Yeah. You know, it's a great frame. Don't see any rust. Uh, looking at it like this, you can tell it hasn't been wrecked. This guy jumped on the trailer quick. He knew what he was looking at, so he's he's the guy. It looks like it's in really good condition. I, th I think it'd make a good driver, but there's not enough with the body and everything that I would buy it. But I'll try and help you all out. The thing that I liked about the, the chassis uh, is there was no rust on the frame. Someone ought to buy that thing, fix it up. I mean, that that is really cool. C come on in, and uh, I've got I've got a book here, and what I'll do is. Let me, let me just check a couple of numbers on that. Okay. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Special delivery. Is this our, this is our vet motor right here? This is our vet motor. Oh. Good deal, bro. Let's get a look-see of it. Yeah, we just got our LS3 in for the uh, Corvette. And uh, we're pretty excited about getting this thing in there. 525 horse. 525, yeah, that's, uh, that's cheap. Nice. Amazing. I want one for my birthday. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the motor we're putting in the vets a 525 horse LS3. This particular motor, the 525, has got a hotter cam profile and should make a little more power. We want to use modern power, dependable power, and just make it that much more fun to drive. Well, yeah, let's get it set in there, man. All right. So the main thing is we got to get the transmission set up, get it in the frame, because when we lower the body down, we've got a lot of trimming we got to do in the engine bay to make sure we get everything just fitting really well. All right, here we go. This might be the easiest motor to put in right here, DJ. Don't say that. Because we drop it, right? <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. Go on now. You fellas ready? Go on here. All right, here we go. Are we in? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So we got the 68 Corvette seat frames broke down, blasted, painted. Now I'm going to come in with some elastic webbing and give it just a little bit more, you know, reinforcement. I'm going to put back the original foam that we had on there. It's not too bad. And then we're going to modify that foam to, to make it fit the customer and then go from there. Are we ready? Yep. Raise that vet. <laughs> yeah, we got the motor trans and the, the vet. And uh, now we're going to do the chest fit of the body. One thing about that frame, we slide it easy, boys. So we're going to roll it underneath the body, let it down. You got to let our fingers crossed. And hopefully cut minimal fiberglass. Lord, have mercy. Let this thing sit down there. Oh, this battery box ain't going to clear. What the heck? Cut it out. Holy bar. We, we got battery. problems, fellas. Oh, man. Holy bar. We got problems, fellas. Oh, man. All right. Will. Piece of cake, boys. Piece of cake. <laughs> but what are we going to do with that? Mike's gonna get comfy while he gets the answer. He's gonna like, look at it. Hey, there is no good answer coming. When we lowered the body on the new frame, we noticed the height of the new frame is gonna come in contact with the floor. So it's just that much more cutting and bracing we have to do to get the body to fit properly. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it out. All right. Let's raise it up, make our marks, and uh, start cutting, man. Floor panel and metal in. We're gonna make new metal pans, pop rhythm them in, and then glass everything real heavily. Hopefully, it'll be a lot stronger. Oh, uh, there it is. 16. Yep, that's it. Bingo. All right. We got uh, 16 gauge mild steel. So, I'm just using my template that I made and uh, trace it to the metal, and we'll uh, cut it out. Now, soon be a floor pan. 
Basically, we just like to strengthen them up a little bit before we wheel them in. I think it's got a load on it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I can feel that thing pushing down, boy. So we'll put these pans in here. Obviously, with a convertible, look at that. The only thing that's tying the car is the front clip to the back clip is the floor. It's cold blood, son. Yeah, that was good. So we want to make sure we put as much strength back in, if not more. to sell the 68 chassis. We walk in his garage. Boom! Museum. It's a museum. This guy's got Corvettes that were literally driven by real astronauts. What's, what's going on here? Captain America's Corvette? Uh, this, this was Alfred Warden's. It was one of the red, white, and blue Corvettes from the Apollo 15 program. Wow. I got a note from a friend that said there's an astronaut car for sale on Craigslist. And I bought it on the 48th anniversary of the first man on the moon, July what? 20th, 2017. If you were an astronaut in the late 60s, early 70s, you got a free Corvette. You got it for a dollar. For a year. A dollar a year. That's back when every kid wanted to be an astronaut because a badass Corvette can't get the deal. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the trip to the moon. That's part of the thrill. Well, look at that. Look at that banner. Speaking of moon cars. That's cool. What's going on with that? You have that car too? I have that car too. That's that's Alan Bean's car. Let's go look at it. That sounds good. What? Nice. Wait a second. Look at this. Whoa. Wow. Not a Craigslist find. This is not a Craigslist. There's a used car lot, and the car was sitting on the lot, and I recognized it from Life magazine. So you knew. I, I knew. I knew it was his car. And they didn't know anything about it, so I turned in a bid of $3,230. Luckily got it, but I paid $3,230 for it. But from what I understand, it's a seven-figure car. That's finding a Mona Lisa in a garage sale is what happened. That's exactly what happened. This, this one, now this one's really neat. It was bought after Dave Scott turned it in. I, I tracked it down to a Sentinel newspaper article from 1988, and I bought it uh, March 5th of this year. So you got three. Three, uh, yeah, I've got two from Apollo 15 and one from the Apollo 12. And I love that Danny has done his part to save American history. And it's all right here in this garage. That's amazing. These cars are not mine. These are a piece of history that the people. Well, thank you for keeping them in the condition you are. I appreciate you taking the time to show us all this. Quite a tour, Danny. I have Quite no a tour. Idea. So, unfortunately, we didn't sell the chassis, but... We really got an amazing history lesson. Rocky's hood and deck lid, what I decided to do is do an SS stripe. So we basically stuck with the SS pattern, which came on the Camaros and the Chevelles. And, but we made it a little wider. He's got a big old cow hood for the for the engine to stick through. Purple's one of his favorite colors. So we're gonna do a little dark purple in here. I've always liked really cool shades of purple, you know, on the darker side of things. Black and purple is a great color combo. Now that we got the purple base, we'll lay out the graphic. Rocky, he loves flames. So we just want to do something subtle that's not going to be totally, you know, in your face. So we'll actually just do a ghost flame. You see a lot of people do nice flames, but it's on the wrong color on the wrong car. This is pretty much a muscle car. So a flame job on a muscle car may look a little strange. So if we do it in a ghost car, You'll see it kind of moving around with shadows and stuff, but if you stand back, you probably won't even see it at all. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Man, that's it there, brother. You want to go on down with it? Let's go. Are you sure? Under the 68 bed here, you can see we cut this big old chunk of fiberglass out and replaced it with a metal panel that we made. We got plenty of clearance now. Now what we need to do is set the body down on the frame and make sure the thing fits. Here it comes. 
What about that front drive stuff? So, uh, we got plenty of room. Yeah, it's going pretty good so far. Still clear. That looks good, don't it? Yeah, that's better than bone there, it. man. It's better than bone. Fixed pretty good, Ken. That's uh, tricky, man, isn't it? Yeah, it's those lines are pretty crazy down here, but yeah, it's sitting pretty good. The transmission tunnel had an old four speed transmission and it was just too narrow, not tall enough, so we had to just cut the whole thing up. Then I gotta make a, a new one all out of steel, just get it all shaped in, and then I'll bolt it into the fiberglass. Well, man, you gotta really go in there, Ken, huh? Yeah, you can, that's for, uh, so when you're driving, you can put your hamburger and your fries. You put your hamburger and your fries on there. <laughs> right. Nice and flat, man. Yeah. That's awesome, Ken. Now we've got to switch your name to Corvette, Ken. Well, oh, man, it's looking good. Let's get the side pipes on. All right, Ken. Let's see. I'm gonna get my Peter belt stack out. The customer has to have side pipes on this Corvette. So we're just getting them mounted up there. And mounting them, you know, it's not as bad as we thought it was gonna be. Yeah, so we're ready to go. Side pipes on a car, it's cosmetic thing. I mean, it's a Corvette thing. That's what the customer wants, that's what the customer gets. This is the fun part right here. Come on, baby. Look there, see there? You gotta talk to it just right. Look at that. You see it? You know what my new nickname is? Side pipe Mike. Side pipe Mike. <laughs> Corvette Ken and side pipe Mike. This car ain't got cheese, Ken. Our customer Rob's coming by to check out the progress on his 68 bed that he's having built as a surprise for his wife. What's going hey, on, Joe? Rob? How you doing? How you doing, man? Just came by to say hi to Joe and check out the Corvette and see what the progress was being made on it. Well, here it is. Looking good. What do you think, man? Looking good. Really beautiful. Nice. We got everything kind of set in place now. Of course, when we get it down to the ground, we'll tune the chassis and get the ride height. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Well, here's the pipe all mocked up, right? We want you to kind of see the... The side pipe. Yeah, yeah. She'll love that. The one thing is, you know, my concern was her burning her leg. No, I think she'll love it. She's going to have to be very careful getting in there. Yeah. yeah. You won't touch a hot stove twice. You damn sure won't, man. Yeah. You damn sure won't. I guess Rob's wife really wants these side pipes, and he's undeterred. We tried talking him out of it because, I mean, you burn your legs. The car's going to be close to the ground. And, uh, but he's, he said, put them on. That's the way it's going to be. We're good. If that location's good, we'll move forward. Yeah. Just, it ought to be a blast to drive. Yeah. Should be a lot of fun. Comfortable and fast and stable. No, I think she'll love it. Okay. I think she'll love it. Just yeah. get the shield yeah. on there. Yeah. Uh, it's turning out really beautiful, more than I'd hoped for. Uh, beautiful stainless steel, you know, with the side pipes and everything, and frame looks great. All right, well, yeah, appreciate that. Rob, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, right, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just got done shooting the ghost flame. So basically, I just took a different shade of purple, just a slightly different shade, tinted the flames, and now I'm peeling up all the tape. I'll be able to see the contrast, and once I get everything peeled off, I'll go back and uh, tack rag everything, and I'll start doing the outlining by hand process. And that's it. Did it? Oh, my leg. You're good, man. So yeah, I'll take care of that. Sweet. Papa, look at that. Put your hand like right up here. Just like you're grabbing your suspender. Like you got a suspender. Put your hand up here. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> See what you're doing. <laughs> Sit your head just a bit like that. He's right on, brother. You see that? I see it. What y'all see? <laughs> Put your hand up there, Papa. There you go. Now turn your eyes this way, that way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, playing tricks on Papa never gets old. You know, sometimes I feel bad about it, but good thing he's a good sport about it. Look at that. We miss Papa so much, we had to get a statue of him. <laughs> Damn. That does look like my baby picture, Joe. <laughs> <laughs>
car. Look at the flames on it. The door buzzer still works. I know the door buzzer. <laughs> wow. We ain't gone. Man, thank you, dude. Hey, man. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Man, it's perfect. Man, That's just what you. I wanted, dude. This is exactly what I expected. More than I expected. I got SS stripes with ghost flames in the stripes. It's the ultimate package. It's not too much. It's just right. It's not old school. It's really great. I can't wait to show my family when I get back home. Look how straight the lines are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Not too much. Not too much. Just right. Ooh, I'm going to the track. Go to the here, good. Yeah, he seemed like he really liked it. You know, putting these stripes on the car definitely sets it apart from anything else he's ever had. And, uh... I think he's uh, pretty stoked about it. You ready for a burnout gun? Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a stupid question, wasn't it? Mandy, you want to go for a ride? No. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. We'll see if you know how to sign this driveway. Let's see if we can. Hey, guns, it looks good back here. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs>
going back to work. Whoa. Wake her up and make her pretty. What? Whoa. Wow. This guy's got Corvettes that were literally driven by real astronauts. Look at this. This is going to be fun getting off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did we get ourselves into, boys? I heard a pop in here, Joe. We pick up and something is broken. Holy fire. We got problems, fellas. Words can't even describe how happy I am to have it here. Nice. I love the work they do. 